What's going on everybody? We're gonna go over the nursery toolkit that is ideal for your nursery. Nursery tool kit. What's the first thing we need on there? pH. pH meter, pH indicator drops. pH is vital, is crucial. This is one of the major, this is one of the first basic steps when it comes to chemistry, when it comes to the water, the nutrients and everything like that for different nutrient uptake. Um, it's completely vital. Indicator drops are really easy, uh, a really easy analog way of testing the pH as well, just as a backup, just in case your pH meters aren't uh, calibrated properly or they're overdue for calibration or anything like that. So I like to have a digital and an analog uh, method of doing my pH testing. So a pH meter and pH drops go a long way. What's next? Laser temp gun. Laser temp gun. You can point that laser at your water, at the ducts of your AC units, or anything like that, to uh, the leaves of your plants as well to get that leaf surface temperature. You could use this laser temp gun, temperature gun, to get your surface temperatures from a bunch of different places. And you want to be able to see if your AC is blowing cold like it was, or if it gets warmer and warmer, and it's due for service. You want to be able to check the leaf surface of your plants to make sure your VPD is in check. You can even just spot check different spots of the room to see uh, if there's any, any discrepancies there when it comes to your temperature. What's next? This is one I don't think gets used enough. This is a bricks meter. Should you have one right here? So this bricks meter. It's used to measure the sugar content in liquids. So what this you want to use is you want to be able to get your um, some leaf material, squeeze out some of the juices there, put a couple drops on that little flap there, close it up, look at it, uh, look through it um, with some light coming through, and you'll see the um, the levels of sugars on there. Part of your toolkit, get a brick speeder. Next, PC slash PBN. Once again, a tried and true, gotta have in your nursery, EC and PBN meter. There's the digital ones, obviously, and I'm thinking of an analog one. I think the only analog one is this uh, this big stick that just has um, these lights that, that change to whatever level it's at. So it's not a digital readout, but it's kind of just a little light indicator. And you'll see right to the side of that, whether it's a 1000 PPM, a 500 PPM, and it has all of the other um, EC and a different, the two different PPM ranges on there as well. So an EC meter, critical. You want to be able to feed your plants what they need, when they need it, and know that your nutrient mix isn't off. It's an easy spot check to see if staff mix did something incorrectly or, or did their math incorrectly and did too much of one product versus another. Oh, an EC meter, critical. Next, PAR meter. We want to be able to see what our uh, light intensity is for our clones, for our teens, for essentially all stages of growth. Um, a PAR meter is going to measure that light intensity at the canopy. You can see if there's any dead spots. You can see how much uh, the light intensity diminishes when you go through your canopy and you know go to the lower parts of your canopy see the light difference there because that has a huge factor in uh, the nutrient uptake the nutrient levels you're you're feeding your plants as well it has to be a harmonious balance between the light intensity the environment um, and the nutrients as well so a par meter they're not always the cheapest right um, and some of these instruments and the and pieces of, and, and tools um, aren't always the cheapest, but these are critical tools to have in your nursery. Next, what do we got here? A DO meter. What's a DO meter? Dissolved oxygen. Dissol dissolved oxygen levels in your water source. So if you're combating or having any issues with pathogens in your water, stagnant root growth, browning of the roots, anything like that, you want to be able to make sure your oxygen levels are in check in your water source. So if your water has been stagnant versus your water being fresh and constantly moving, there's going to be different levels of, of dissolved oxygen in your water. And 
the lower levels of dissolved oxygen, the higher odds and, and chances of uh, pathogens taking over that water source. So get a DO meter to add to your toolkit. Next, we got chlorine test strips. Chlorine test strips. So if you're using, like say, if you're using a, a tap water source, um, most people knew, knew, know the trick of letting it bubble for about 24 hours to let that um, chlorine um, gas off and then be able to use it for your plants. Because some people have really good uh, high quality water, uh, tap water to feed their plants. Like for instance, I do too. Um, but chlorine test strips are super cheap, super easy. They're little paper strips. They're often used in like the restaurant industry to test the, the sanitizing levels of the uh, of the dishwashers, chemical dishwashers. Um, I only know that because that was my previous career as well. But chlorine test strips could help you test also the uh, the chlorine you're using to sanitize and disinfect your your scissors because chlorine, the strength of chlorine, it's it, it gases off very quickly. You the longer it sits, the less potent it's going to be. So get some chlorine test strips. They're available everywhere at Amazon. Super cheap, little roll, little plastic roll of chlorine test strips. You'll get a little, just a little dip into the solution and it'll be a certain color. And you can see how concentrated your chlorine is, whether it's uh, from your water source, if you have any chlorine present, or um, you're, you're sanitizing your tools and the chlorine solution that you made, you wanna see if it's still good or how much it's diminished. So chlorine test strips, another good one. Let's see here, what else do we got here? So those are some of the major tools you want to have in your nursery to be able to check and ensure and verify things are in perfect working order. Stay tuned for more.